Saints, and welcome to this week's NDP Live video announcements. I'm Ava Cabanis. And I'm Carlo Lanza. It's Friday, February 4th, and it's time to tell you the news you need to know. This week is Catholic Schools Week. It is a week when we honor and share the blessings of Catholic education. To see all the ways NDP celebrated, we encourage you to visit ndpsaints.org forward slash the dash scoop. But the celebration hasn't ended yet. Today at lunch, NDP will host an all-school barbecue to thank all the wonderful people who made NDP the best high school in the Valley. So make sure to get out there and grab some food. And if you're looking for some entertainment during the barbecue, NDP Live will be out filming a hot dog eating contest, which will air on March 1st during NDP's Mardi Gras Giving Day live stream. We won't give away who will be in this competition, but trust me, it will be hilarious. We can use all the cheering and support we can capture on camera. It will definitely be a moment to remember. And Saints, make sure to set reminders to watch our fourth annual Mardi Gras Giving Day live stream, Tuesday, March 1st, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Ava, Gabe Garcia, Martin Hammond, and I will host eight live hours to help raise money for our school. Last year, we raised over $86,000. This year, our goal is $100,000. So tell everyone you know to watch. We need all the help we can get, and the live stream will be aired on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Notre Dame Prep. is also a very important month. That's because it's Black History Month. Over the next few weeks, NDP will celebrate and honor black culture. NDP's Diversity Student Union is working closely with NDP administration to create meaningful and impactful events throughout the month to promote education, awareness, and equity towards the black community. Greetings, Saints. I wanted to talk to you just for a minute about the fact that this is Black History Month. And maybe the thing that's most important to me is for you to understand that we've d done a little bit of planning with Diversity Student Union and we've come up with some strategies and, and events that will highlight key figures in black history. I'd like to get to the point though where uh, black history is our history. I think that one of the things that's important to me is to help you understand that people from diverse backgrounds bring so much to the table when we're engaged in any activity. And because of that, um, I'd like to get to the point where black history is all of our history and it's celebrated every month, just not in February. One key thing though that I'd like to leave you with is that I can remember when I was six years old and I was sitting in my living room watching the TV with my mother. And we were watching Martin Luther King deliver his I Have a Dream speech. And I remember my mom sobbing as they sang Onward Christian Soldiers at the end of his speech. And um, the impact that that had on me as a young man, and maybe because of the impact that it had on my mother, I'd just like to share that, that same feeling with you. He was such a great man with such vision for what our, our, our community, our world could be. And I think that if we can take anything away from that, it is the importance of the fact that we all love one another. And that's really what Jesus put us all here for. Enjoy learning about the black figures and uh, come to understand that Really, this is a time when we should pray for one another, pray for all of our black brothers and sisters, and really celebrate black history. Moving on to other important NDP headlines. If you're looking for a summer program to jumpstart your career, apply today for TGen's 2022 programs. The TGen Bioscience Leadership Academy is a two-week summer program for rising high school juniors and seniors that comes with a $1,000 scholarship awarded to your college tuition. But Saints, the deadline to apply is today. Go to NDP's The Scoop to find the link to apply. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and NDP's Hope Kids Club needs your help. They're collecting kid-sized socks for children who are struggling with illness. Make sure your socks are Valentine's Day themed. White, red, pink, hearts are all accepted. The sock drive ends February 10th, 
and the donation box is located inside the comm. Saints, the Notre Dame Prep Year of Hope yearbooks are now on sale through LifeTouch. Go to NDP's The Scoop to purchase your yearbook and enter the code 144-26322. The cost is $125 per book. It's now time for your NDP Athletic Highlights. I'm Carter Calvet. Spring sports tryouts and practices start February 7th. Student athletes interested in, in playing sports in the spring should be sure to complete their final forms and registration and pre-participation physical requirements now to ensure their eligibility to participate. If you have any questions, see Mr. Schaff or Ms. Nystrom in the athletics department. Final forms for registration and trial times can be found at ndpsaints.org forward slash the scoop. Senior Michael Dixon earned his first varsity tournament top five with a fifth place at Eagle Invitational last Saturday. Matthew Dixon also advances Saturday action. The team is preparing for AIA section meet on February 12th. The boys soccer team posted a 9-1 victory over Deer Valley on senior night. Cormac Galvin and Richard Kearney, two assists, each had a hat trick and Keegan Lynch added two goals and three assists from Ben Yurick, Tyler Knudsen and Riley McMenemy. The girls soccer reported a 9-0 win over Deer Valley last week. Peyton Lane, Annika Smith, and Ella Osmussen each had two goals with single goals by Charlotte Adams, Ella Meyer, and Audrey, and Audrey Rains. The boys and girls basketball teams were making a strong push into the playoffs. Brandon Nicario is one of three players in double figures in a 72-20 win over Goldwater for the boys, who have won four straight heading this week. The girls have won five straight after a win over Goldwater. Stay tuned for next week as we reveal our NDP football players who have made their commitments official to play coll collegiate football. It's now time for our favorite segment of the week, Saint of the Week. For those who missed our Saints 5K last Saturday, we had an amazing turnout. Over 250 runners in our community showed up to show their support for teen mental health. In total, we raised over $9,000, which was given to the nonprofit organization, Not My Kid. One of our own students ran in the race and finished third. His story is definitely an inspirational one. On your mark, get set, go! Hi, I'm Evan Morozovich. I'm a sophomore here at Notre Dame, and I participated in the Saints 5K last weekend, and I ran it in 19 minutes and 16 seconds. I've been running my whole life, and I started doing cross country in seventh grade. It inspired me because uh, this season didn't go as planned. I had a couple seizures in September. We thought it was just one problem. I went back the next week, the same thing happened again. So I had to go online for like the rest of the semester until I could figure out what it was. Turns out I have epilepsy and that's what I found out I had and uh, I had to get it treated. So that's why I was, so I was gone for quite a while and I had to do my classes online. So I had to go undergo a lot of, I had to go through a lot of adversity and this was a lot of redemption for me. Mental health can be anything. Like people may think it's just like stress or like anything just like so simple, but it can even be stuff like epilepsy or stuff like that, that most people don't think of. And us raising $9,200 helps teens like me feel a lot better and get into a better place. I feel myself again, like I, my personality's back. I'm really excited to be back with my friends and uh, running for the school, supporting our Saints. And uh, this was really good fitness for me and to get me back in shape. So this 5K was really worth it and I'm really happy to be a Saint of the Week. Congratulations, Evan. You are this week's Saint of the Week. If you know a student or NDP staff member that deserves recognition for something they've done to give back to our community, email Mr. Henderson at jhenderson at ndpsaints.org. We now want to thank Black Rock Coffee for being NDP Live's official sponsor.
Well, that's it, Saints. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week.